What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Hawaii series. This morning I am going to be fishing off these rocks with a little uh, just a light fishing pole here and a small bucket for some bait and then later on my dad and I are going to take a kayak out and use that bait for fish. Alright guys first cast of the day. I would love little wrasse, little uh, um, saddleback wrasse or Christmas wrasse. I actually just read an article about a guy who caught a hundred pound ulua, a uh, one hundred and a half pound ulua on a Christmas wrasse. It is such a calm day out here. Oh, there's a turtle right there, folks. All right, let's get some bait. Dude looks like he's gonna climb up on the rocks. <laughs> he kind of is. <laughs> That's cool. Just gotta keep getting out there. You never know what's gonna happen when you're... Oh, good grief, bro. Oh, he wants the seaweed. He's trying to eat the seaweed that's on the rock right there. That's so cool. Oh, hey, ho. Oh. oh, and I'm snagged, dang it. Look, he has something written on him. M-A-100. He's, like, been tagged. Or they etched something into his shell. Huh. Research turtle. Oh, look, I got one. I got one. Got the snag out, and oh, there's a wrasse. Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. First fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen. You want to see the fish up close? It's called a saddleback wrasse. Wow. There's just a little reef fish, a lot of them down there. Can you eat it raw? Um, you know, I think you can eat most fish in Hawaii raw. I'm actually going to use them for bait. I'm going to take them out on my kayak fish and, and use them as, uh, as bait. I'm trying to catch really big ones, so. But yeah, you could eat, eat them um, raw, I guess. Got him. Got him. Another one. Yes. That is exactly what we want right there, folks. Saddleback wrasse. This will make fantastic ulua bait. Oh, there's a little baby turtle. I mean, a little tyke right there. Oh, and there's a bigger one. Yeah, look. One, two, three. All... All like small ones, including a little micro one right there. That's cool. Hey ho! Oh, guys, look, there's a more eel right here. Look at a big one. Hey, wait, he'll come up. Well, here we go. Nice. Oh, no, no, he's right there. See him? Look, he just stuck his nose out of the water. I didn't put my bait in. That's creepy and crazy. Stick my bait right there. Look at him. Whoa, 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 what the? What in the heck? What's he? Is he? He's like a snake. That's freaky. I was just wading around these rocks two seconds ago. Look at him, there he... Look at him, well, I don't even know what he's doing. It's like a snake, seriously. Oh look, he sees the bait, I think. I think he smells my hand and stuff. He smells all the octopus. Well that was crazy, I've never seen that before. Got him. Ah shoot, a little hawkfish. I don't want a little hulk fish. Too spiky. It's like a little aquarium fish. That's so cool. I kind of like this micro fishing. It's fun. Got him. And another one. Yes, that's three. I think we have enough pieces of bait. Pieces of eight. Pieces of bait. You guys get it. This reef time gold. <laughs> All right. All right, my friends, we're launching the kayak. All right, swimmer out, get beyond the big waves, and then I will jump in 
All right. Oh. Here, what we'll do? You go out a little bit, and I'll come up to you. How did we lose a fishing pole? I don't know. Well, guys, we lost a fishing pole. That's no good way to start a trip. Like, the the fishing rod holder just dumped over for some reason. It's supposed to stay up in it. I don't know why. You can just see it knocked over there. Heck, I don't know. All right, here comes me ancient with the fishing rod. There's some nice people oh, on shore that helped us, Whew. but it is recovered. You're I'll take it. Yeah, I'll just hold on to it. All right, and we are on our way now. Somebody Somebody just whistle. I think that was a My scream. Hat. You Your hat? Are you sure it's... Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> mm. All right, my friends, armed with a big egg sinker, and a simple Carolina rig. Put on, put on the smallest one. And there we go, my friends. It's rare that I actually fish with uh, reef fish like this, but I really want to catch something like humongous. Remember that time we saw like two like 30 pound Ulua at uh, between Cam 1 and Cam 2 on that like dark kind of stormy day? Yes. <gasps> I'm getting bit. Look at that. Look, something's eating it. So I'm going to open up my bale, guys, and let him eat it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. I don't feel him on there. Something attacked him, though. Definitely. He might circle. He's probably still down there. He's circling around. Dang it, guys. He uh, didn't come back for it. That's weird. How you looking, buddy? Pretty scary, then. He's lively now. Doesn't have any teeth marks or anything in him. That's crazy. Of course, the Lua don't have big teeth. In fact, they don't have any teeth. They just have a ridge. Bony ridge. What a beautiful place. We just need that big bite. Hopefully not from a shark. What's the rule on sharks in Hawaii? Can't keep any of them. They can eat you, but you can't eat them. Oh. Oh shoot. No. No, no, you got a big fish. Oh, you got a big fish. You got something really big. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got something big. See, I'm the one fishing with bait and you're the one that's got something big. Oh, what is that? It's a huge trigger fish. It's a humongous trigger fish. I wasn't expecting that. I think that might be Oh, you Oh my. Hold on, that me... is the fattest, biggest trigger fish in our we've ever caught. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get that rod set. Oh my word. Oh. Check out those teeth. Wow. That is, that is a nice fat trigger fish. Okay, to be honest with how much I was pulling though, I thought it'd be a way bigger fish than that. <laughs> like I'm thinking like a 10 pound something. Yep. Yep, I did too. But he he just wasn't head banging like the like the ones do. So yeah. Anyway, hear that? <laughs> that's not me. That's the fish. <laughs> Should we? Uh, you want to try eating them? They're really tasty. They're tasty, and he's big enough. He is definitely is big enough. Wow. I think just for all the work I put in, uh -huh. I, I want to eat it. We'll get the fish bag out. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's in the fish bag. <laughs> we will put our lines back out and uh, carry on. Oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. You got bit? Mm-hmm. Something's messing with it. Up. I've got him? I think I might have one. I've got one. It's just not a giant one. Oh, it just came out! And I didn't even get to see what it was! I thought the wrasse is still alive. What is going on? Got something. Got something. On the wrasse. What? What? Are you kidding? A lizard. Oh, there's my bait. Oh my goodness. That's what's believe. down there. This big goofy lizard fish. Well, these things are aggressive. These are uh, interesting. They're cool. Yeah, get on the side. They live in the sand. Big mouths. That's why you thought he would 
take on take it on. All right, one. Come on, I'm hope, <laughs> hoping for the big ones. That's about par. We just grab that zodiac and head on in. Uh, or head out and fish from it, you know. Get out some really deep water. Set up a trailer right there, Got him. Got something. Well, let's see what this is. After that lizard fish, I'm a little uh, like, <laughs> who knows? Another lizard fish, an even bigger one. Look at what? Look at the. Oh, look! And there goes my bait. Ah, this is not what I want. You foul creature! Get away from me! Ugh. Nasty things! I worked hard for that bait. <laughs> well, guys, I think that this particular trip isn't working out. But you know what I have to do? We're actually talking about a new spot that we were thinking about going and trying or maybe I don't know just wait for a different day maybe just try all over again I don't know we're gonna probably head in and uh, figure out what we're gonna do next well pops your trigger fish is kicking all right let me we... let him go yeah since we don't have anything to add to him uh-huh All right, my friends, this enormous <laughs> fat trigger fish, we're gonna let him go, even though it's really cool. We have, we've already done trigger fish catch and cook, so uh, we're, we're kind of searching for big fish this video. You know, we want a really nice one. That's that's so cool though. That's what, definitely, I think a family personal best. Yeah, I think so. It is another beautiful morning. All right, my friends, it is the next day, and uh, me ancient, and I have the kayak all loaded up, and we're gonna go try it again at a different spot. We'll get out there and I'll show you what's uh, unique about this place. All right, so this is a pier uh, that was a lively pier at one time until a uh, hurricane came and took it out. At least that's the story somebody told me, and they've just never repaired it since. Um, but also out here we have a lot of rocks and we have a lot of anchored boats. So we're hoping it's gonna be good fishing All right guys, we're gonna start probably around the first couple boats here and then just work our way out to the deeper ones I'll take my sabiki pups So I have your brand new sabiki still in the package these things are so nice I have somebody else pre them for you Bam just like that. I've got six hooks are you going to use octopus? I'm going to throw octopus on, yes. Sweet. All right, first cast of today. Right alongside the Shangri-La. Got it. On the Saviki. Something small. First fish of the day. Oh, a couple of puffer fish. <laughs> double puffers. That's Mini a versions. That's a first. <laughs> Aquarium editions. This little tiny aquarium puffer fish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those are funny. Oh, look at him. He's puffing up. Arr, I'm going to eat you. He's puffing up. There he goes. <laughs> look at that. That is hilarious. They can puff up with air or with uh, water. When they puff with air, they float like a little bobber. That is so funny. That is hilarious. I love these guys. All right, little fellow. Got to deflate, and then you can go. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, big old whale jump. Oh, yeah, <laughs> with report. That'd be so cool to have one of those jump right by the kayak. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Got him. A little something here. What is this? Ooh. It looks like a piece of bait to me. Is that just a little lizard, like a red lizard fish? Looks like it. Wow. I've never seen it. I've never caught one of these before, guys. Definitely uh, looks like an aquarium type one. Looks like a little piece of bait to 
hunting me. Oh, there's a whale jumped in the back there. That was cool. Got him. On the sabiki. Hopefully it's not a puffer fish. That looks like a decent... Was that on the fall? Um, no, but when it got down there... What is yeah, this? Yeah. Well, looks like a bluegill. That... What is this called? I've seen this in pictures. I don't think I've ever caught one, guys. I think this is a first. I forgot, um... T -t -t a blunt... Wait, wait, wait. I was just talking to Mr. Kevin about this, actually. He said he likes to eat these. I don't... I don't think this is an undersized one. I don't know if I'd want to keep one this small, but the blunt head... He was telling me about how these are such a, a sought-after um, fish to eat. Look at like the blue fins and stuff on it. And look at those chompy little teeth, man. Those are gnarly. Yeah, he was telling me how, how good to eat these are. How you want to... Let's see. Put them right in there. I don't know what we're going to do with them, guys. There might be a size limit on them. I'll have to look them up in a second. Look at that bird. Ooh. What's he looking for? Oh, tiny goatfish. Can't use him as bait, though. Darn it. No, that's, you know, I'll be catching big Ulua on that. It's like an Ulua Snickers right there. You just come over and... <laughs> fun size Snickers. Well, my friends, um, snags and, uh, and this has been... I was totally not expecting at this new spot to be for it to be this dead for us out here, but, uh, I mean, just got, you know what we need to do, Pops? We need to just go back to the old spot uh, down around the corner, Mall Marker 13, and yeah. That's where we've had the most success. Yeah, whether it's from the boat or from the kayak. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go there next. All right, my friends, round three. And uh, this is a spot we've gone to. We've caught quite a few before, so fingers crossed it. This will turn our luck around. Check that yacht out, guys. Whew. It's a million, two, three million dollar ordeal there. That's pretty slick. And here we are with our hundred dollar kayak. By the way, and I, we love our kayak. I, I love it. Um, we've had this thing since like 2010, and my dad paid a hundred dollars for it. So we've gotten really good uh, use out of it. Um, so over the sandy patch, I want to drop my uh, mine down to try to catch a couple bait fish, if you don't mind. Excellent. Got him. Oh, pfft. look at this. I'm fishing for bait fish with a tiny hook. And I'm like hooked up on a pretty solid fish here. Oh, it's one of those black trigger fish. Oh, yeah. oh, these are pretty. Well, that's not what we're using for bait, guys. <laughs> that is super cool. Guys, we, we don't really catch this kind that often. You can see they just have a teeny, teeny little mouth there. But uh, beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, the ancients got one on octopus. Seems like a pretty solid fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a peacock uh, grouper. Look at that. Ooh, we'll have to kill that guy. Yeah. Look how beautiful that fish is, though. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Those are got, amazing. Let me, yeah, let me get some line. I gotta show you these teeth. Oh, oh that is crazy. Wow, well that's good to get rid of one of those guys. These are, um, oh. they want you to kill these in Hawaii. It's actually mandatory. Look at those teeth. They eat so many reef fish, they apparently just gorge themselves on reef fish is the story. And, uh, wow. and they want them gone. There they were go. brought over from somewhere. Wow. I don't know the exact story, but we're gonna kill them. Got them? Yep, yep. Oh, nice. Might this might be good fish. Sweet. Hopefully the Coast Guard isn't coming to give us a visit. That would ruin the fishing, really. I'd hate to get checked. It's a snapper. Oh it's God. a nice snapper, yeah. though. Blacktail snapper again. Excellent. Sweet. That's the second one we've caught this trip. Yes, indeed. We're going to eat that one. Yes, yes, indeed. Guys, these are amazing. I made some sushi with one of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty fish right there. Wow. Very nice, Pops. Yeah, we'll add them to the fish bag. And I think the Coast Guard is not coming toward us. 
but they're gonna send some big waves our way. All right, my friends, while I was retying, we ain't jumped up on something solid. You just wait on, as they said. Just, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a big, um, uh, what do they call them? Hogfish. Uh, uh huh. Oh, it's oh we haven't caught one of these in a long time. Oh, that is a hog. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's okay. He's so wicked looking. He is wicked. Looking. <laughs> okay, how do I do this? Those teeth are nasty. They arrived before him. Oh wow. Those teeth. Woo. Yeah, careful with those teeth. Yeah, I don't have anything to do with those teeth. <laughs> Nice, Pops. Oh, yeah, man. we'll put him in the fish bag. That'll be cool. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Check that. Whew. Nice catch. Oh, yeah. Very nice. That's a fun fish. I'll get the fish bag. Fish bag, sir. Huh? I guess, uh... Hopefully he doesn't eat through it. Yeah, snapper, grouper, and hogfish you've caught so far. That's pretty cool variety. I'm dealing with snags here, guys. It's not a, not been a productive afternoon for me so far. One more, one last gasp for Boise State here. Ah, uh, guys, this is the way fishing is sometimes. I do, a big piece of octopus and everything, and it's just not happening. Ancient is going to clean his fish. I'm going to make him clean the fish for once. <laughs> no, I usually just volunteer to do it. I like I like cleaning fish, but uh, this time he is going to clean them. That is a beautiful fish. I that is, I'll tell you what, black tailed snapper. How cool is that? Do you still remember how to clean and all that? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Did all right there, though. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Hogfish. Now, I can't remember the last time we ate one of these. It does seem like when we were little, like like when I was yeah. early teens, mid-teens. One we of you ate guys one, caught one. I think but, you did, actually. Yeah, but I can't remember how it tasted or anything. So I've heard they're pretty doggone good. Mm -hmm. You do good filet work, Pops. <laughs> I haven't really seen you clean fish in a little while. Yeah, it's been a few years, hasn't it? So it looks normal. You know, it doesn't look like red. It looks like normal, like white meat fish. Mm -hmm. It right feels kind of steak-like. Yeah, in my it does. Hands. That's it what I was like, going to say. It feels like a real solid. Yeah, uh, real solid fish there. Look at that. That looks really good. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I have spent many hours at this beach growing up. It's weird, I came here and I actually got nostalgic coming to this park and this beach. Um, growing up, I spent a lot of time around here. It's fun coming back. So we decided to come to this uh, beautiful little park here, folks, for the cook-up. And uh, yeah, I didn't expect to get nostalgic actually when we got here, but I did. Um, but we have here a um, everything set out for making hogfish and snapper burritos. Got the fillets from the other day right there, and then got here refried beans. Just have to heat them up; they're already cooked. Doing this kind of a simple way, kind of the way that you would do a catch and cook at a park. Uh, so nothing like mega fancy. I'm not going to be making my own refried beans, beans or anything. 
spicy Spanish rice, sharp cheddar cheese, and the big tortillas right there. We've got corn oil, street taco sauce, taco uh, powder flavor, mild, and then everything to cook up, so. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is heat up the rice. And the rice comes out, oh good, it's already made. That's exactly what I need. I can't go mixing my own jambalaya here. I don't know what I'm doing that way. <laughs> hey, ho! set the table on fire. Holy mess, look at that out of there. Oh, there we go. That was weird. This thing is crazy. It's not me, it's this. <laughs> it's this thing. What the heck is with the... <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and we'll add just a bit of water to it. They say add two tablespoons of water. It is a little dry. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so I got this little windbreaker here that comes with it. And on a breezy day like today, we've got to keep the ocean breeze off of everything. Just kind of put it around like that. That keeps the heat around it. Otherwise, the heat just gets blown away real easily. All right, just says um, squeeze the old refried beans into the pan. Oh, looks good. Spread them around. Just get them heated up. That's all you need to do. And of course, sample them. And they're good. All right, now we're gonna take some butter. Now we got the, uh, the insides of the burrito all heated up. You can hardly use too much butter with fish. Fish love butter. Fish love, they do. <laughs> and I'm a fan myself. All we can do is take the taco sauce. Nothing fancy with this. I wasn't using my first cast seasoning, which is the best seasoning in the world. But to keep it authentic, um, I'm just gonna go with the taco sauce. I even thought of combining my first cast seasoning with this, but I want it to be, um, you know, I want to keep with the Mexican theme here. Oh, fish. Once it has halfway cooked, we'll break it up into a bunch of smaller pieces. Chop it up. What I'm going to do, too, is take these burritos, even though it's a warm... Actually, I don't know if I need it. They're already warm. But I'm going to kind of put them around this. There's a lot of heat coming out of here. And uh, it just kind of heats up the tortillas. So That's cool. All right, so I've whipped out the uh, little metal fork and knife here. Break this thing up. Oh, that's looking real good, smelling good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say on that package, they're like, make sure you brown the beef for the chicken, and I, they don't have anything about fish. And I'm thinking it's gonna be just as good on fish, cooking it all this way. Now let's start building these burritos. First thing I'm gonna do is put refried bean. A little bit of rice, something crisp. We'll add a little of that in there. Street taco sauce. Put some of that right there. All right, first burrito. I don't know if you can mess this up, right? I don't, I don't know either. I mean, unless the fish tastes absolutely nasty for some weird reason. Like, we got so many good ingredients there. I'm gonna load it up with meat. And now for the folding part. I did watch. Oh, the life. The lifeguard is chewing somebody out. Let's have a turtle on the beach. Oh, a turtle on the beach. Yeah, I tell people just. <laughs> Boy, he is. He is. He is giving it to him. He just holds me. He just said you wouldn't want somebody to put a camera in your face, huh? <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. So you get everything kind of in the middle. The guy said he said this is how they do it at Chipotle. Oh wait, I don't know if I have enough. I think I have too big a. Oh, my tortillas are too big for this. Um, I can still do it. I can still do it. Sort of. No, I can't really. Um, yeah, that's working. That's working. And fold those corners in, and voila! There we go. Hogfish burrito. Unique. Well, now this burrito is overfilled. So now I put too much in this one. There's no way I'm going to be able to. 
Well, the snapper burrito is going to be Massive. absolutely like giant. So one is way is a little underfilled, and then one is way overfilled. All right, guys, two very different burritos here. Uh, it's be easy to tell which one's the snapper, which one's the hogfish. So I'll say a prayer real quick. Please. Dear Lord, thank you for the bounty of the ocean. Thank you for all your creation we get to enjoy. I see bless this food to our bodies now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. So right. which one are you going to um, I'm gonna go for the big one. Okay. You That's go the for the hog. hog, hog. No, you have the hog fish. I've got most, and most, both of them have a little bit of each one in it, sure. but just this one has quite a bit of snapper. That one has like almost all hog fish. Here we go. The fish is really good, and I'm afraid for me, it's getting lost in, the, in everything else. Yeah. I want to taste that fish more, because when I do, it's really good, but it's getting lost in the beans and the rice and the, and mm. the flour and the tortilla. So I think I'd rather have like chips. Yeah. Like a nacho setup where you could take as much fish as you want with whatever you want, you know, the other stuff. Yeah. I, that would taste, make the fish taste come out more, which is what we're after. The, the fish is really delicious, guys. Mm -hmm. And out of all the things we made, fish tacos, fish nachos, and now, now burritos. Burritos are my least favorite thing because I want to taste that delicious fish and you have like all the refried beans and the, and the rice and everything is actually getting in the way. And they're good. Yeah, they're, they're just... all good. Yeah, no, it's a fine burrito. Mm -hmm. But I would actually rather taste this really good fish. Hogfish is uh, most mm -hmm. excellent. I can really taste it in there. And don't get me wrong, the burritos are good. I mean, we'll cook as many as we have here and uh, and eat, eat all the burritos. All. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're hungry, but uh, just rather have fish tacos or fish nachos. Something to keep in mind. So thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.